Hi beautiful souls, my name is Monica and I help people master their awakening journey. In this video, I share with you a story as well as tips on how to feel enough and how the wound of not feeling enough actually contributes to many addictive behaviors that we may experience in our lives. So where does the wound of not feeling enough come from? You probably know by now that between the time of conception and the age of about seven, most children are in the hypnagogic state, which means that we are, our conscious mind is not developed yet, and we are in a constant state of hypnosis, basically absorbing information from the environment like a sponge without any conscious filter that would um, block us or protect us from any harm. So we are absorbing beliefs and information from our parents, teachers, environment, religion, culture, society, and um, we are adopting them as our own. What also happens, and this is something that many people don't realize, is that you also receive many beliefs from your mother and this happens from the time you are conceived simply through the umbilical cord um, you, you know your mom is basically passing down her emotional state to the baby so if the mother for whatever reason didn't feel enough didn't feel accepted didn't feel valued respected or loved unconditionally by uh, the environment she was in at the time of the baby, so the infancy. It could be maybe she had a tough day at work, it could be maybe there was an argument with her husband, it could be maybe something else happened, an argument with her par parents, or maybe something happened in the external reality where the mom didn't feel enough, so she, she would simply pass the emotional state that she was in down to the baby and the baby receives those beliefs, that those emotions and often ad adopts them as his or her own. So this is one way how we can inherit the wound of not feeling enough. And obviously secondly is all those other forms of um, beliefs that we can receive from environment, culture, religion, society and so on and so forth. They can be gender based, they can be culture based, they can be race based and so on and so forth. It's getting better but I believe that we still have a long way to go to make people feel not just okay about themselves but blissful, supported, loved and valued, accepted unconditionally which is our natural state, by the way. But um, these things are often like beaten out of us as a result of the external reality that we live in. So this is how the wound of not enough starts. It can start in our childhood. I personally have experienced bullying in my childhood. Um, I've struggled with weight issues and um, um, the whole wound of not feeling enough was only adding more petrol to the fire. So there are many different ways how we can develop the wound of not feeling enough. So we've spoken about receiving that energy from our mother um, through the umbilical cord. It can be also passed down to us through the different type of conditioning from society, culture, religion, parents, teachers and so on and so forth where they are constantly bombarding us with how we should be, how we should look, how we should speak, how we should think, how we should you know, live our lives in order to be accepted by the external reality and if for whatever reason we don't feel ourselves that we are meeting those outer expectations, we don't stop loving the external society we stop loving ourselves and this is what hurts us the most because we often look look at the magazines we look at the, the tv we look at the successful people around the world and we compare ourselves to the external reality and if for whatever reason there is a discrepancy either in the way we look the way we speak where we're from you know where, where we or grades at school or 
you know jobs and um, lifestyles and so on and so forth we then feel not enough this wound of not enough then results in a separation from our own divine self from our own whole self we separate ourselves and we create this false identity false mask in order to please other people and meet their expectations it often happens in our childhood um, when we feel like our entire survival is dependent on our parents so we then start suppressing ourselves in order to fit into the family dynamic and be accepted by our parents which obviously may work um, temporarily um, but will definitely hurt us longer term and um, what often happens when we separate from our own true divine whole self we feel that hole within we feel the lack we feel the emptiness within and we then try to fill that hole with um, external things people then seek to fill that empty hole with alcohol even love love can be an addiction where you're constantly chasing somebody else to make you feel like you are enough we can try to fill this hole with cigarettes with um, you know gaming with um, obsessing about how we look and this is actually an example a personal story that I wanted to share in this video where I uh, for the majority of my life have been walking around with this wound of not feeling enough that stemmed from my childhood being brought up by a narcissistic mother extremely critical negative never praised me never uh, sort of validated who I was as a human being so I never felt enough accepted in that family for who I was and um, I remember I was pretty unconscious up until the age of about 33 and I uh, and one way how this wound of not enough kept showing up in my life unconsciously I've, I was obsessed about buying clothes and I was working in a corporate environment so you know life was good I could afford it and but I, I got so bad that I couldn't show up you know at work week after week without a new blouse you know I would be comparing myself to my colleagues and um, all of this was unconscious the clothes somehow made me feel better I've got something new that you know um, makes me feel good for two minutes and then I'm back to square one so it was a very sad thing and I I've, I've sort of kept repeating this pattern for a number of years before I actually awakened and could see my my own patterns and and habits of behavior and addictive behaviors so this is so the wound of not enough can show up in your life in many different ways and the way to get out of it is to really start connecting with yourself with your heart with your soul with your higher self and start a healing that wound you can even do the mirror exercise where you basically look into the mirror put your hand on your heart and repeat the sentence i feel enough make sure you focus on the feeling because the feeling is the biggest secret behind um any healing any love or law of attraction technique where you are basically teaching yourself emotionally how you want to feel on the inside and is this inner state of of that emotional fulfillment on the inside that then creates the emotional fulfillment on the outside so i'm incredibly passionate about helping people heal and um, rewire their mind heal their emotional body to ultimately discover their most authentic self because this place uh, of authenticity represents the state of flow inner bliss 
um, synchronicities, where manifestations happen fast, where you are living from a place of connectedness to your higher self, alignment with, with your highest passion and joy, but it comes from feeling good, feeling enough on the inside. And the way to heal it is, is to, first of all, validate those experiences in your childhood that have led you to believe that you're not enough. Then look at your external reality and see what you are maybe unconsciously creating to make yourself feel better temporarily and feel like you are enough. For me, it was buying clothes. For somebody else, it may be alcohol, gaming. It's some sort of addiction where you're constantly trying to escape yourself and, um, and, and use an external reality to fill that hole within you to make you feel enough. So observe the, the, your external reality and then thirdly, start your healing. Start healing that inner child that was wounded to tell him or her, you are enough. Look into the mirror. I love you unconditionally. You are enough for me. Put your hand on your heart to use the power of your heart to magnify the creation and your healing and you'll be amazed by the kind of results you can achieve in a very short space of time. I have helped hundreds of people to heal using this method and I really hope from the bottom of my heart that this helps you heal and return to a state of wholeness and divinity within that is your natural state of vibration. So in this channel, I share tips on healing, on how to spot any self-sabotage in your life, how to reprogram your limiting beliefs and heal your inner child. And also tips on creation, on the universal laws, the law of attraction, for you to create your most empowered, most fulfilling life yet. If this resonates with you, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to my channel because I'll be sharing so many more videos in the coming weeks on how to heal any self-sabotage addictions, how to reprogram your limiting beliefs, how to heal your inner child and many, many other healing methods um, to empower you to return to your most blissful state of flow, joy and abundance. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in another video. I'm sending you so much love, peace and joy and may you be abundant in all ways. Namaste.